about airships, popsci.com, January, February 2017, says that deserts, jungles, the oceans, and the Arctic are too remote for most vehicles, yet oil and mining companies want access to them for their resources, but there's no cost-effective craft for getting there yet. So they built this giant blimp, they said compared with planes, will have lower fuel consumption, quieter takeoffs, and greater efficiency per ton of cargo. There's one major problem with this, though, and that is that blimps crash. And when they crash, they lose like hundreds of millions of dollars. So here I want to revive another old idea from popular mechanics, and that is using rails on land to send the airship up and down on the terrain. And we presume we could use ballast to make it go up and down the hill. And to save on the rails, I imagine using like pylons that go way up, and they have reconfigurable rail systems. And they could build a whole system of rails like to the far north. Well, it might seem I'm ignoring hills. I think the airships could stay level with the same rails, but you'd have lines going up to it that go over the hills as long as the wind is not blowing too fast. So this will make sure the airships always have a high level of levelness. This method of using rails for the airships would also work for the jungle because you could build them above the jungle canopy. As for what popular science says about the oceans not being accessible by other methods, I can't see why they couldn't just send a boat. A boat could carry a whole lot more weight. But even so, it brings to mind some of the ideas that have been devised, like the helicopter balloon was invented in the 70s, the hollow balloon. Almost like a hollow balloon, but it raises more celebration. And this lifts more than a helicopter, but it's more stable than an airship and won't crash as often. Airship airplanes are possible. It lifts a lot more weight than a plane, but it's much more stable than an airship. And to solve the airship accessibility problem with boats, it's possible to combine an airship with a boat and even use the airship as a sail to make the boat go much faster. Here too, you lift more than with the boat, but it's more stable than with an airship. And if the winds start up, they could lower the airship down and clamp it onto the boat for more stability. You'll have no accident with an airship if it never has an impact or a dent. Like Amazon had sent the first drone package, so what, airships could send all the heat from Mexico at Xmas. In a giant box on December 25th, wrapped in Xmas wrapping and paper, and on all sides it says, this world up, rise and shine. We're having a heat wave of Exodus thanks to global warming. But what about the other 64 million years between when the dinosaurs went extinct and the Ice Age? I don't blame people for this. I'm a responsible employee. If anything goes wrong, the boss says I'm responsible. <laughs>